Uh oh, I've ruined everything. Hello, I might have ruined everything. Sorry. I've definitely ruined everything. You didn't? I've tried I've changed the base canvas and base stream resolution to my to mine, you know? Um But also didn't consider that I've got to redraw all the canvas stuff, so that's MB. It won't let me redo the game. If I do Lude. transform fit screen, there we go. That would help if I pick the game. Remember to twat it. Do I not twat? I'm sorry, thank you. Sorry, I was gonna move, but there's a cat sat on me now, so them limbs are broke. Uh, let's have a look. Does that work? That looks okay. How does it look? Does it look okay? And can you select the new re the correct resolution? Can you select 1440? Does it work? Yeah? Alright. I'll make it look and run a bit nicer. I know, we've we've increased the res. You never played the follow to Aria Sora, it's really good. I thought we'd have a quick nosy at the uh, venues. I don't, I don't know if we pick one and just play through that for the moment, or whether we um, or whether we go through the games and have a quick look at them. Does it look like something fun on DeviantArt? Yeah, they, they've got different artists for each game. With honestly, and I guess no shock there, but I think Shinoa's uh, artwork looks the best. Like quite, by quite a stand, like quite standard for it. I need to go get my controller. You know, I'm really sorry, I'm gonna have to move. I'm gonna have to move. Is that okay? I'm gonna move now. I'm gonna rotate the chair. And I'm gonna move forward. And we're gonna have to leave. Ready? Is it? Right. You'll be a sec. You know, it's beautiful. Yeah. Wait till we get into the game a minute. Uh, Close game? No. What kind of fucking cursed button setup is this? Look how lovely this looks. It's so nice. I think M2 did this, uh, which means that the ports are going to be all fucking incredible. Look how nice this looks. You, you can't get it looking this sharp even on emulator a lot of the time. Like, and the emulator, as you've seen when we've played it, the emulator version of Order of Ecclesia runs like shit. It's really annoying. But this looks lovely. It's Dracula. I've always wanted a Castlevania tattoo. That's, that's another one I'd love to get at some point. Is this a set of remasters? It's basically re it's a re-release for um, it's a set of re-releases for the DS games, which are kind of a bit of a ball ache to play on emulator a lot of time because of the way you got to do the screens. And so what they've done for like Dawn of Sorrow, for example, they've patched it so that you don't have to do the touchscreen stuff. <laughs> oh, there you go, Holly. Yeah, it's literally they've, they've made it a quick time event. They made it a quick time event. So you can just you have to push like you just push the buttons on the face pad and stuff. Yeah, and on, thanks for the reset, dude. Yeah, man. Oh, sorry, I left my mouse there. Kill the stone. I actually like the anime style as well they use for this. I'll mention that earlier, but yeah. It's 
So which of the games are we going to try? We can try, I mean, we can try all of them, but it might be better to, like, stick with it a little bit. Uh, it is Netflix anime style in a way. I think it looks quite nice. Do you mind if I said more of that? Oh, it looks so sharp. I mean, I've only ever seen it on, like, the grainy-ass DS screen. It looks really nice. You can choose which opening you get and which um, games you're playing, by the way. You can just choose which um, uh, region it's from as well. I don't know. I think Portrait of Ruin's really fucking good. I think the dynamic with the two characters is really fun. I, I think, To be fair, I love all three of these. I think all three of these are excellent games. Like the, the advanced collection they made with Circle of the Moon, uh, is it Harmony of Dissonance and Aria of Sorrow, uh, is good. But these three are just the pinnacle, I think, of the Castlevania Metrovenias. All three of them are incredible. I love Soma. What a king. Yeah, and then you've got uh, Haunted Castle Revisited and Haunted Castle. But also, look at this. I love this kind of stuff, by the way. Look at, look at this beautiful artwork. Look how nice this looks. And you've got 125 bits of artwork you can go through and stuff. I love it. It's so nice. And again, I've never seen the artwork this... I've never seen the artwork this sharp. It's incredible. It looks so good. This must be the rules, I'm guessing. Oh, I mean, look at this. Look how sharp that is. Stunning. Love it. And this is some of the official artwork stuff. I've still got my copy of Order of Ecclesia on DS. Lovely. Little Dracula. What what a what a Chad. What a handsome boy. And you got some production stuff. Chanel with different hair is pretty cursed though. <laughs> that doesn't look right. Oh, these are like different designs they had for her. That's cool. Sorry, give me two secs. Um here you go, let me put some music on while we're waiting. What's gonna be what's a really good one? I mean there's lots. There's so many good ones for this. Also, oh, of course. How could I not? Chanel! Right, two seconds. So nice, isn't it? And of course, there's the main. This is one of my favorite Castlevania songs, I think. Where Shinoa does a fucking incredibly badass line that she's gonna vanquish the horrible knight. Kicks down the fucking castle door, and it's like, we're here to fuck ass. Let's go. Gears of a Riot, that's a good one. Uh. uh let's have a look. Oh, I do. Oh, Jail of Jewel is so good, though, as well. Oh, it's so good. I miss Castlevania so much. Hail from the Past is also incredible. I love when they just do extra stuff in games like this. Like, here, here's the music. Here's the music. You can make a playlist out of it. Here's, uh, here's a gallery. Here's some other stuff. I mean, you can choose which version of the game you want to play. You can choose the JP, US, or EU one. It's, it's really nice. Like, 20 quid? 20 pound for three of some of the best games ever made? What a fucking steal. Yeah, it's weird that Symphony of the Night is still not on Steam. That is a bit unusual. Oh, the Clock Tower style theme is so good. The music brings back your college. You play the Shadow Portrait of Ruin. I know. Oh, I, I was playing it at college. We're about the same age, aren't we, Honor? I was playing it at college as well. Dawn, Portrait, and Order of Ecclesia I got from the same shop, uh, like a few years apart, whenever they came out. Oh, this is such a bop as well. Right, let me go sort my tea out, then we're good to go.
Sorry. There we go. The nut has gone somewhere else. Jonathan, Charlotte! <laughs> Jonathan, Charlotte! Jonathan, Charlotte! Jonathan, Charlotte! Spam that down. The remix in Harmony Despair is so good. Yeah, it's so good. What's another really good one that's on here? Oh, this is the good, the version of Bloodlines is so good as well, yeah. Also, Iron Blue Intention, the remix of that is really nice. Oh yeah, Simon's theme. You lend your copy of Portrait to a buddy, never got it back, that's a bit sad. When you get a chance, get yourself another one. Thank you for the resub, by the way, Anna. Appreciate it, man. Honestly, Axwin, I'd rec I can recommend it. We'll see how it plays. See what you think. Why is Simon Steam such a fucking bop? I could listen to the music all day, man. I'm still on the Discord channel, fuck's sake. Thanks. You didn't zug zug me? What a coward. The Simon fucking Belmont, seriously. Like, the big thing is that the GBA had some good music, right? The GBA had some good music, but it was limited by the fact that the GBA sound chip was fucking terrible. Like, it really was. Like, when you compare it to the Super Nintendo or something. The, the DS obviously had that much more grunt to it. Dawn's got some I love, by the way, I absolutely love Dracula's Tears. Like, this I hear in my head all the time. Like, this just... Oof. I know, they're not even zuck me, can you imagine? Like, what an amazing intro to the, to the castle. Well, this is- well, not the castle, this is the first, like, dungeon area, I guess, but... This has a version of Vampire Killer in it as well. I actually have the- I actually own the soundtrack for this, by the way. Like, on CD. I know, I know where it is. It's in the same order. Does Dawn have tracks from Aria? No, I don't think it does. Not, not, not really. Look at that! It's even got the fucking dodgy spelling. I love it. Beginning. I love beginning. Exactly the same as on the uh, CD as well. You better not be fucking my wire. Mm. They couldn't make an animation with Simon as a pro tag, he'd just be ripping vampires in half with his bare hands. Yeah, literally, right? Simon would just be stood there, punched the hole through Dracula with a massive erection. Boom! That's Simon's fucking hardcore. But would it be, would it be like long redhead Simon or would it be classic bl uh, blonde Simon? There's Easter eggs, oh really? Classic. This has also got... Cross Your Heart, which is also in Portrait of Ruin, I want to say. Oh, is it the Castlevania music is built different? It's just built different. Instantly gets you into the I wanna fucking whip some dudes. There's Illusionary Dance. Yes. Illusionary Dance is uh, Drax theme though. So it's in lots of the games. Let's have a look. Because if you actually listen there. And then in we've probably got it here. I don't know if it, actually I don't know if Illusionary Dance is actually in this one because track's not in it. Technically. Uh it might be in order though. Let's have a look. Oh yes, Darker. Heart of Fire. Uh, I don't know if Illusionary Dance is in this either, so in that. It might not be. Yeah. Julius's theme. I mean, we're talking about Simon being hardcore. Could you imagine a TV show of Julius 
Julius Belmont is so hardcore, he literally killed Dracula forever. Like, that dude is a fucking absolute unit. He turned up. He, yeah, Julius. Julius Belmont. Well, it's saying it's Julius Belmondo. Julius turned up in 1999. Dunk fucking Dracula is so bad, he had to get reincarnated instead of reborn. Fucking absolutely destroyed him. The crazy thing about Julius, if you think, like, story-wise as well, right, is, um, oh, where is it? I think there's a heart of fire here that's, oh, so good. Hey, Jeff, you're right, dude. Thank you for 31, man. Why is he bullying you, no, for no balls he's done? Julius was so hardcore, he suspected Soma as being Dracula and just decided to test him. Midway through the fight, he does the Grand Cross and blows the castle walls out. Julius is a fucking menace. When Thoma fails in his quest and becomes Dracula, Julius turns up at his doorstep just to fucking murder him. And he wins. As far as I know, he basically just wins that. Like, Julius got him, man. The fight against Julius in um, Aria Sorry is so good. It's so good. But he actually says something on the lines of, I made you a promise, and I'm here to, like, you know, I'm here to keep my promise to you. Because I, I think Soma always says, if I die, if I die, can you, you know, can you sort me out, please? Like, because I don't want to be a monster. And he's like, yeah, I got you, fam. Oh, these are cool, too. Sorry, we will actually look at the games in a minute, but it's kind of neat seeing that. <laughs> oh my god, what a fucking unit. Jesus. What do they make this boy out of? Good grief. What the fuck, Drac? Drac's been eating his Wheaties. Hey, Dan, you're right. I kind of love the Vampire Sisters. Lead. I, bl I blame these games for giving me, like, love of big goth girls. There's some really nice artwork here. Oh! Persephone. Oh, Persephone and the uh, sniper lady who says, like, I see you. Hey, Figgy. She, like, scree they have such iconic voice lines as well. It's really fun. All right, so which one are we gonna play? Which one are we gonna play? Oh. <laughs> That's great. Mr. Sucky Blow. Blessed be Mr. Sucky Blow. Oh, they've actually got the instruction manual in here too. Oh, that's nice. Wait, the American instruction manual's in black and white? Oh my god, you guys got fucked. That's distressing. Ours was in colour. Horrible. Beautiful. So are we can we didn't put you very order of ecclesia. Are we gonna are we gonna do portrait of ruin or order ecclesia or dawn? What are we thinking? I thought the UK was still in black and white, so they wanted to add some colour. That makes sense, yeah, yeah. We like, we like it. Haunted Castle? I've never played Haunted Castle, actually. Should I straw poll it? Should I straw poll it for everyone, so we can just do it that way? Hold on. Uh, hold on. Which sucky do we do? Corn of Suck. Pictures of suck. Orders of police here. There we go. Oh no, I fucked it up, I'm sorry. I literally ruined everything. I literally can't, I'm just bad. There we go. One for Dawn, two for Portrait, three for Order. Please, you can't see the poll, can you? Oh, there it is, it's in the middle of the screen because I fucked up the... Where's the alert widget? Over there as well, alright. 
I think I need to sort screen out. I'll leave I'll leave us some more music. Here we go. Oh clock tower, beautiful. Haunted Castle got some amazing, some of the, I wonder if it originated here, some of these songs in Haunted Castle. Oh, um, it'll be up here a sec, what you decide. Sorry, I was just opening the windows upstairs as well while I was up there. What, what's the straw pollen? Um, let's have a look. What one? Dawn of Suck? Dawn of Suck one, okay. Alright, Dawn of Suck it is. During game, let's see how to open the pause menu. I can rewind the game. That's pretty cursed. English. All right. Well, the first thing we're gonna fucking do, by the way, is oh, it's not here. It's not. After it in game, I guess. You can also use the mouse. Can I draw? Can I still draw a peony? Uh. Ah. Uh, mm, mm. uh, mm. Might have already ruined. Oh god. Oh god, this has already gone to shit. Oh, this is so hard to do. Hold on. Delete. Alright, I got this. I got this. Wait, can I just use the mouse? Okay. Perfect. You're on chat 17 to use the marquee. It's nice, isn't it? It's fun. So this is how it does like the different screens here, as you can see. So this is just a catch up of what happened in Aria. Basically, we just fucked, you know, fucked the evil castle up. Shit, up shit went south. Years passed, he lost his powers. It's all good. <laughs> oh no, it's Mina. Do you want me to read it or are you happy just to read it? Read it? She said, haha, like, she's making a joke. Yeah, and that's when Hammer decided to. Wait, Soma, can I ask you something? Of course, Mina, what's wrong? It's been a year since it all happened, hasn't it? Yeah, just about. And what was it called? You know, the ability to use the power of monsters? You mean the power of dominance? That's the name of the trilogy we're playing! <laughs> yeah, the power of dominance is Drax's power. Shinoa has the, uh, the glyphs and runes of dominance. Um, Brauner tries to steal the power of dominance, I want to say, and Soma has power of dominance. I lost it when we escaped Dracula's castle, remember? I know, but it's just I get this terrible feeling inside. It's probably nothing. Look, don't worry, okay? Past year, I haven't been able to use any of the powers I gained, and... My god, it's... Cynthia? Celia? I actually kind of didn't mind the, uh, 
the anime style they went for this. I, I think Order of Ecclesia is beautiful, mind you, and the best it's ever looked. It's, well, maybe not. It's, it's, I'd say it's on par with the, um, uh, is it Kojima? Uh, the lady that does the art normally, the Castlevania art? I think it's Kojima. Uh, I really, I like it just as much as that. It looks better pixelated. Yeah, it probably does. Probably does. I mean, they designed it for the DS screen, didn't they? Which makes sense. You're, you're Soma Cruz, aren't you? Uh, yeah, and you are? You may call me Celia. Oh, thanks, Celia. And I am here to see you dead. See, you're dead. <laughs> I didn't remember having typos in it. Come forth, my servants. Oh my god, it's a skeleton! Nani? Mina, get back! Damn it, of all the worst. Soma, you back off too. Oh look! It's definitely not Alucard! I know that guy, that's definitely not Alucard! Mr. Aricardo! Who could this dashing man be? Genya Aricardo, the Guardian? You shall not interfere. A barrier? Quick, Soma, use this! You just casual knife I got on me. Do I have to equip the knife? No, it doesn't for me. Right, let me get rid of the absolutely cursed. Uh, where's the controls options in this? I don't remember where it is. It might be on the main. Oh, it's actually the controls are fine. I bet the control, control settings, here they are. Uh, let's see. Normal attack, jump, switch. Oh, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Oh, yeah, what are the settings we got? BGM, display language. Oh, we can change the screen settings if we want to. That's cute. We can have both the screens showing. We can have it like that. We can have it like that. Like that. Or like that. That's nice to have the option. I don't, I don't mind the three screens, though. I think it's fine. A bullet soul. Up and square to... Wait, they changed it? No. They actually changed the fucking buttons on the emulator? Jeez, that's actually way more than I was expecting. I thought it would just have the DS buttons. Lol, get bones, nerd. Mm. Lol, get bone, nerd. Attack with a spinning spear. Guardian type, press R1 to use. Raises strength. Nice. Takes effect when equipped, does not use MP. You don't gear off my keyboard, you. What was the original issue? What, what, what do you mean, sorry? In what way? Oh, do you mean with the controls? Uh, on the DS ones, I'm fairly sure the way the DS buttons are set up, it the jump and attack are the wrong, are the wrong way around for me. Or it's, or it's the other buttons, like X. I always have X, if you like, the bottom button as jump, and the left button to the side out as attack. That's what I grew up with. And I think on the DS, it actually might be where circle is as attack. Oh no, how comfy? Is it just like a really rough setup or something? Soma Cruz, I shall see your demise. That is certain, using whatever means. That's not very nice. Imagine you're just in the middle of like... Where are we? Japan? And she just rocks up and just ruins her day. Wait! Save your energy. You won't catch her now. Damn it. Soma, you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine, but that power it returned. Definitely not Alucard. What's going on? The power didn't return. It was always within you. You just never had a need for it since you fled the castle. And that set free all the souls you'd gained dominance over. You mean I couldn't use the power because I wasn't dominating any soul? Anyway, who was that woman? She seemed to know you. Celia Fordner. She's the priestess of a new and rapidly growing cult. We suspected she was up to something, so we've been keeping tabs on her. Why would someone like that come after Soma? They want to resurrect the Lord of Darkness, like some sort to do with Dracula. Guess they don't like the fact I didn't become the Lord of Darkness. Not only that, they tend to create a new Lord by eliminating you. I eliminating? But Soma, you don't need to get him more involved than this. Let's deal with it. That woman. She said she'd see my demise. Soma. Several days later. So the cult's base is here. Hammer's info wasn't so iffy after all. Ah, you doubted my word? Good old Hammer. Hammer, what are you doing here? 
I'm just like a good head above so much. What are you, dense? Who told you about this place? It was me. Well, yeah, but hey, you got your mind doing something wicked, huh? I want in, buddy. And hey, what happened to that pretty lady? You remember, right? You mean Yoko? She's not coming. In fact, I haven't told a soul. Spoilers, Yoko is in fact coming. Oh, she ain't coming? Oh, why not telling her at least? Oh man, well since I'm here, I better make the best of it. I guess I'm back in business, you're my customer. Hammer, um, look, I'm saying this for your own good. You really should leave. I'll do that, I'm afraid. I know when someone's in trouble and I'm just not gonna leave you here. Alright, I appreciate it. I'll scope out the area and set up a shop. See you around. Man, why wouldn't you tell her about this? He's like, Ulius, Yoko, Alucardo. Oh, the music, here we go. Oh, nice, we actually get both screens, which is, again, more information you get than one DS. We got back. Okay. Oh, that's, that's pause, right? We've only got a nip at the moment, but, you know. But now we got the short sword. No awoos. Oh, he can awoo. I, I, I missed my buttons. Mmm, schlombies. I can summon a schlombie. Mirror defense, frame options, mag, ember, you really. No operator. No consumables. Oh god, that's cursed, yeah. No wonder it was so fucking difficult. I think there's a save point down. Oh no, the boss. Yeah, the boss is here in the save point. It's a save room. What's the save room do? Don't lick my toes, you baby. Oh yeah, we need to get the magic seal, right. Oh! This is so nostalgic. I know it hasn't been that long since I played this, I guess, but it's been long enough. I mean, technically, you want to attack. You want to attack, attack, like when you land on the ground. You can emulate a save. Oh, look, it's Yoko and Ulius. Those two. Oh, Suma. Yes, yeah, Yoko Bel Belnadis, as in, like, deep ancestor of Cypher. You know Cypher. Trevor's mate. And Ulius is Ulius. Yoko, Ulius, what are you doing here? Funny you should ask that. We got wind of this cult from a tip by Aracado. I'm investigating with Mr. Belmont. I'm sure you remember him. The Hunter. Yeah, yeah, the fucking Belmont. Like, the burliest. Soma, please understand. If the darkness draws you in, I'll have no choice but to destroy you. Yes, I know. Then there's no reason for you to be here. That's right, you're only putting yourself in danger. By the way, that you can unlock Julius mode. And he just walks through the castle. Like, it, it, there is not much challenge in Julius mode. You just fucking disintegrate everything. That's right, you're only putting yourself in danger. That's Celia woman. Not only was she after me, she tried to harm Mina too. I'm not going to stop until I find her. You're determined, I see. Then I have nothing more to say. Wait, wait, Julius, how can you just say that? You barely tried to convince him. I'll be going now. Wait a second, I'm coming too. No, Yoko, you stay. We need a contact here, just in case. Hey, you can't just... Fucking Ulius. Don't do like see through the castle, literally. Men, they're so selfish. I bet you have no intention of going home either. Uh, well, fine, here. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. And this is a magic seal, a magic seal. The cult leader appears to create gates to draw the power of darkness. Monsters exposed to that power are said to be invincible. So how am I supposed to destroy them? That's where this magic seal comes in. Want to practice using the seal? Kitty! Must you sit in front of the magic seal? Sure. Good, now watch closely. Okay, now you try it. Mmm. 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 Oh, that's, that's the good shit right there. That's the good shit right there. Don't have to use the fucking touchscreen. Go. 
Good, that's it. Now, just don't forget how you did that. One more thing. You can practice drawing a magic seal anytime. If you're not sure how you should do it, you should definitely practice. Got it. Magic seal activates on its own when it's needed. Give it a try. All right, now. Let's go, Soma. Huh? Go where? A dead end here. Only Ulius could get in from somewhere like this. We should go back and find a different way in. Bear in mind, Soma at full power has a pair of fucking wings, can fly, can do all sorts of crazy shit, but right now he's a jobber. He's the Yamcha of this right now. I, yeah, I'm wondering what the last seal's gonna be like. We'll have to see, I guess. There's no shelter from the rain and wind here, either. Will you escort me? Uh, sure, of course. Thanks, let's go. Yoko does not need our help. She's fucking hench, but whatever. Oh god, it makes... Oh, I see, we can actually make the mouse appear by holding the trigger. What the hell is the right... What the hell's the button for? Oh, right. I'm being stupid. Good old Yoko. Yeah, for sure, right? Alright, here we go then. This door. It looks like you need a magic seal right away. Oh, it just does it. Most likely you'll need a magic seal to finish the monster here. Just be calm and focus. I'll be waiting. No prob. You're going to the jump? Very nice. You've been enjoying it? I'm gonna bone this nerd. Kitty! Oh no! Oh no! I already stopped it. I'm bad, I'm sorry. They get like 20% of the health back, I think, when you stop it. Reduce the speed of falling. Nice. Oh no, it's the Crimson Fucker. You did it! Using magic seals as a piece of kit. Oh well. I mean, it is for Soma, okay? Don't be too sure. That magic seal won't work forever. What do you mean? They have probably prepared new and more complex patterns that you have to use a stylus for. It's terrible. Hmm, I hate styluses. Don't worry, they must have hidden the magic seal pattern somewhere. If they didn't, the gates of the darkness would be useless. I get it. I won't keep holding you up as my escort anymore. I can manage now. You sure? In that case, I'll be going. Oh, there's one more thing. Ulius may have some new information, so come see me if you're close. And so, uh, please don't do anything reckless. You know, what, like getting stabbed, Yoko? Yeah? Who would do that, huh? Count on it. You take care too, Yoko. Alright, we need to equip the uh, flying armor. Oops. It's the Claymore. It's like a regular weapon, but slower. I'm not entirely sure this is better, but we'll fuck around with it. There! Yeah. Oh yeah, sorry. No go. And a mace. We've got a few weapons we can try. Spear. Delicious money. Your favorite bit of the game is Mean Tuesday. Everyone's be like, how do you find them without seals? And he's just like, I just murder them. Yeah. Yeah, Julius doesn't need the seals. He just fucking brutalizes the buggers. He's too hardcore. This is a great way of playing this, actually. Like, with the with the screen set up like this is really nice. Oh, and you got the really nice DS background. You got the really nice DS backgrounds, with like the, like the semi-3D stuff. Oh, hi, Soma. You gonna act like Judas is contact here? Yeah, there was no one living, so I thought, living here, so I thought it'd be okay. Oh, that rough looking guy is right across from me. What was his name again? Hammer? Yeah, that's it. What's he doing here? He came to help me. 
Honestly, you didn't ask him to come, did you, Soma? Of course I didn't. I'm sure you wouldn't. It's too dangerous for him to be here. Can't you tell him to leave? I told him already, but he wouldn't budge. Besides, it's hopeless now. Especially after someone who's not supposed to be here showed up. Huh? Well, if he wouldn't listen to you, I suppose it's hopeless. By the way, I gained a new ability. New ability? Nutty! So the power of dominance lets you control souls and monsters, right? Right. So I thought I could use the magic to draw the monster souls out and use them. You mean release the souls? Something like that. Of course, I need your cooperation. And it's not something it's easy to do. So what do, you to, what do you plan to do with them? Well, I can fuse them to make a weapon. And make a new weapon. The souls you use will be lost, though. Can you even do that? That's rather rude of you to ask. I may not look the part, but I am ex considered an exceptional spellcaster. Just tell me if you need something, and I'll show you what I can do. Alright. Oh, with my magical abilities, I may also be able to reduce the number of souls. I'm not sure you'll need it, but just keep that in mind. Got it. Can I help you with anything today? I don't think there's anything we actually want. Oh, we can make a d armored knight uh, sword. I don't think we want to do that. Though. Soul release. No. I love the snow that falls off the van when you jump on it. Nice touch. Welcome. What do you think? Not a bad shop, huh? Of all the weirdest places to set up a shop. Normally I'd tell you to have a look around and spare a few coins, but uh... Yoko's in the area, so I saw her earlier. She must have come after me. That's not it. Jeez, you sure are quick to put a man down, aren't you? She's here to investigate the cult, she said. Well, whatever the case. I can tell you I'm a lot more motivated now. Can you come back to help me? Anyway, have a look around and buy something already. Uh, I don't think there's anything we want to buy yet. We could buy a potion or two, but... I guess the map's kind of handy. We can buy the news. No reading. Anything else we want here? Leather armor. I don't think we want to buy anything, otherwise. We can actually read the news. Exclusive scoop, abominable snowman discovered. I can't remember if you need the news to find them. I can never quite remember. Or whether you can do it anywhere. There's one about Mothman and you gotta zap, you gotta like zap, like zap a light or something. I forget how exactly it looks like. Anyway, into the castle we should go. Just down this way. This game really started my love of like, enemies giving you power-ups like directly. Like, this game's really fun for, like, the collectathon of, like, stuff you can find, you know? Uh, what's over here? A potion? What uses releasing souls? Uh, I'm pretty sure if you release enough of them so you can do something with it. But I forget. It's been a while. <laughs> the apprentice witch just turns into a cat when she dies. Ow! I think I've missed like the warp points down the bottom. Beware the Death Star. There's some really funny ones actually. I think this is the way into the castle. I'm fairly sure that's the warp point we missed, but whatever. Here's the castle. Has anyone else got some absolutely disturbing bit of uh, nostalgia? Like, it's really feeling it. I'm really feeling it. Here's the other side of the, the gate, but you know. Oh! But now we can jump down. Here we go. I always like that they kept the um, the in-between walls. How many do you suppose the big mods? Big mods one, right? I wonder how they can do this. I guess you'd have to do like this, maybe. I don't know. Maybe they've changed or something. Oh, the music here is so good. This is not a particularly difficult game. Like, there's a couple of things I would say could be considered tricky if you didn't know what you were doing, maybe, but I wouldn't say it's a particularly difficult game.
Oh, we got a blunt sword. Can we do that blunt sword? I think. Got a lot of good spear. Oh, you got some armor. Very nice. There we go. Very nice. Delicious. The DS strategy gets livingly hard as you go along. It does, yeah. I think, um, yeah, I agree. I think Portrait is harder than this, and Order of Ecclesia is probably one of the hardest Metrovanias. Uh, actual Vania Metrovanias, if you like. Cast of any ones. Like, Order of Ecclesia is really, really difficult in places if, you, if you're not quite sure how to, you know, what you're doing. Oh yeah, yeah, this this is a brilliant example of what the DS could do. Like, it's still, it's a 2D game, utilizing a system with 3D capabilities and more more processing power. It's kind of what Symphony Night did. You know, the PlayStation could do 3D environments, but it used 2D to show really what you could do with a more powerful system in 2D, which is awesome. Girls, don't bite my bed sheets, please. I've still got my DS. My original DS broke, uh, which is a bit sad. Like the hinges went eventually, but the um, my 3DS uh, still. I got multiple 3DSs still all left and running still. Go away. You want to go down first? Probably not. Hear this? Oh no, let's go down. Let's go down first. Looks interesting. You did it. Well done, Figgy. Okay, we're not allowed in here, are we? We can equip this scarf, though. I'm using the analog stick. I'm using my DualShock 5 here, by the way. Uh, I'm using the analog stick, and it's controlling absolutely fine. I'd say. Oh, fuck off. It's a manticore! Whew. Oh, it gets really hot, that's a bit sad. I've, got, I've still got my Majora's Mask on, actually, and it's, uh, it's all, all Gucci, so... Sorry, yours is not, uh... Big man! Sorry, yours is not behaving very well. Hikurish Nikis. Or Japanese snack. <laughs> I don't know, I don't remember what Dornosaurus is like to emulate, but Order of Ecclesia is a fucker. And it's actually really nice to have, um... Gonna get to punch the nerves now. So it's really nice to have this just working. I love it, just hardcore punch skeleton the fuck out. Grow a tail? I love tails now. Like, it's really cool to have, uh, I think, enemy abilities that massively change the way you play. I've always liked that. You died instantly in the second mission. Yeah, sometimes it's just like, fuck it. You might be able to take it to like an electronic shop that specializes in consoles or something and get them to have a look. A warp room? Nice. Did we get the other warp room already? We do. Delicious. We're not actually going back. Just, you know. Punching a manticore to death is so fucking hardcore. I love it. I'm gonna punch a skeleton right in the nose. Oh no, I'm not. I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fall all the way to the bottom, actually. That's what I wanted to do. Silly me. Yeah, 
Yeah? Is that witch fall over? Are you okay? Are you, you alright? I think the magical tail's good and doing some good deeps here. The witches are fun. I, the, the apprentice witch and the regular witches in all three DS games are all funny. They all have like funny lines or do funny things. Like the main witches um, have some funny stuff. I want to say in Portrait, if you get Mr. Sucky Blow, it might be in this one as well. If you use Mr. Sucky Blow, um, they hold their skirts down when you try and suck. When you try and suck their skirts, they, they go. Eh. Oh, I remember Let's playing this Castlevania Saturdays. Those were good times. Kind of bad beating her up, really. They're a bit rubbish, aren't they? I guess that's why they're the apprentices. Man, the Manticore Tail is absolutely ripping ass with the, with the... Oh no, it's the creature! El Cuchura! Is it El Cuchura or La Cuchura? He drops a really rare soul that's supposed to be just really good. I don't know if we can get it very easily. It's much easier to come back later to grab it, but... He did drop some spinach though, so... Lucky sure. Oh my god, I punched him right in the dick. Not teach him. Don't mess with Soma Cruz. I'm gonna punch you in the dick. Ugh. That wasn't very nice. Steffi is, I don't know. Take that rock, boy. I think I give a fuck, I'm gonna punch you. Woo! Having the map and the other screen open at the same time is actually kind of a game changer. It's so nice. Like, that's really, really nice. You! Ah, you've come. <sniffs> Just as I predicted. Celia. You're kidding, right? You're telling me this punk's a lord of darkness? Judging matters merely in appearance, simpletons are so vexing. Why do you call me Dimitri? I merely stated the fact. Dario, Dimitri, both of you enough? Ugh. Hmm. Excuse their behavior. Welcome to our house, the home of our church. You talk as if you're expecting me. You fear that you will imperil innocence for who you are and who you can become. Am I not correct? Yes. I fell for your ruse. Why would you want to resurrect the Dark Lord? We do not desire the Dark Lord per se. For God to be perfectly good, there must be a being of perfect darkness. Yeah, Dracula's kind of more or less Satan, I think, in, in the Castlevania sort of lore. Is it quite, is it quite good then, the... um? The leveling uh, expansion stuff, Biggie. Apparently, the tail scales will level in damage, which is pretty crazy, actually. That's got nothing to do with me. If this world does need a perfect dark being, one should emerge. Isn't that how it works? Perhaps that is so, and perhaps it is not. What is true, however, is the power of darkness steadily grows faint. The Lord of Dankness must be enthroned without fail. And not a moment too soon. But that doesn't mean. I heard enough already. Let me rip this punk apart right here and now. Have patience. He will try to stop me using whatever means. There's no need for haste. 
What are you saying? He is in our hands now. We can destroy him whenever and however we wish. Correct. This will also serve as a test for both of you. I see. Wait a second, test? What test? I didn't hear about that. Are you incapable of thinking even a little? There is but one Dark Lord, yet there are two candidates. You and I. Duh, I know that. Then get this through your hollow skull. Whoever defeats this boy becomes chosen as the Lord of Darkness. Oh, I get it now. Yeah, okay. This'll make it fun. Next time I see you, punk, I'll burn you to ashes. These guys got scammed, by the way. Soma has the power of dominance, which is quite literally Dracula's power. He he is Dracula. Dario got has got like a fire demon in him, and uh, Dario can like mimic souls or something weird. I forget what it is. They they didn't get the uh, they didn't get the memo of who was cooler. I shall depart also. I see no significance in my presence here at this time. So those two are the Dark Lord candidates, huh? Correct. They were born at the same time as Dracula's demise. In 1999, baby. They are the inheritors of Dracula's dark powers. But that's no guarantee they can become the Dark Lord. They can, by shattering Dracula's soul. But enough talking. If you wish to stop me, I'll be waiting for you at the top. I may even change if you I may even change my mind if you survive my traps. Do you think she's trying to get Soma into a position where that he will become Dracula and use that? Or does that seem unlikely to anyone? <laughs> they use 10 words to say see ya. Yeah, I mean, how else you know they're clever, right? First boss time. Well, first proper boss. Balor, I think. Zap. He's from the first game as well. Oh yeah, we gotta try and avoid getting punched. He's a good introduction boss, I'd say. Rip. What? I got scammed. Defeat Balor, again. How's this gonna work then? Use the touchscreen to shatter a ability type soul. Takes fetal massively. So how's this gonna work? Uh, I guess let's find out. Yeah, that's pretty cursed. Okay, fair enough. It's not terrible. I'm using the analog the right analog stick and R2 to do this. It's okay. It's not ideal, but it does the job. Is that my phone? Thank you. Alright. That's thunder outside. Is it really that loud? I need to like move my phone somewhere I'm streaming, I guess. It almost feels like they had to use the touchscreen. Like Nintendo said if you want to release a game, you have to use the touchscreen or something. Because it's so pointless. <laughs> Fucking punch that nerd. Damn. Now we go back up this way. Go past Lucky Chura. Oh. This game doesn't have as many voice lines as the follow-ups. Like, Portrait of Ruin has tons of enemies that say stupid shit, and it's so fun. Like, I love the sniper lady. I see you! She's great. Oh. 
How's the mic today, by the way? Is it still handling stuff okay? Any drama? Any, like, lagging stuff? Oh, yeah, the skeleton bartender's a good man as well. I want to say Persephone says, like, like she has to clean or something. The sucky, sucky bus is definitely so stuff. Lewd. Lewd? I can't see... I can't see the message, sorry. It's way too small again. Let me just have a look. I need to change that. It's a new mic. Yeah, yeah, I've got an actual proper desktop mic now. Got a properly one. <laughs> Lude. Hey, Al, thank you very much for the reset, dude. Thank you very, very much. Hope you're doing all right. Telegram user. Sorry, trying to reach you about your cards in the warranty. Damn, not again. My, how, how much is my car warranted? It's fucking amazing. Thank you for the donation, by the way. Should we help the witch? Is she gonna try and fly over to us? Come on, come on, darling, you can do it. Yeah, there she goes. Oh. A for effort, I guess. Nice. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I forgot about that. Alright. That's fine. Ah! I could use the mouse here, I guess. A bit fiddly, but. Gotta play more guitar here, I know. Yeah, first time. Thank you again, Al. I hope you're doing well, man. It's always good to see you. Hope your streams are going well. Where are we now? The Garden of Madness. Nice. Just punch this boy. I'm gonna just punch these nerds. The Garden of Madness. Yeah, we need Sylvia here. Can I punch this plant? Probably not. Dornosaur is really fun because it's got that boss that's like a giant foreskin monster. It's a bit weird. Skeleton. Oh, I just got bitten pretty hard by that. Travis finds blades. He's like, actually, yeah, the Garden of Madness fucking blows. I love those guys. The Mandragoras are fun. Can I punch a Mandragora before it pops? Oh! Hardcore. Fuck him. Do it again. I'll teach him. Little shit. Bonk. Very nice. You shit, tree nerd. Magic seal too. It does take it tells you the button combinations, I guess when you do it, so it's not too bad. Mandragora is a good solve, Marco, yeah. There's a few, like, really solid souls in this. I should just punch those nerds. Like, 
corpse weird, yeah. That's gonna make us leave back to... Is this the clock tower? Yep. Yeah, Mandragora is pretty, uh... Oh, the demon guest house. I love this place. This is way too soon for this, but... I don't know if we can run into, like, the maid servant lady shirt already. It might be, it might be there on the upper bit of this floor. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, it's DK Skeleton. We love this guy. I'm gonna punch him now. I'm gonna punch his fucking dog. There we go. Fuck, Fuck that dog. Ugh. There's something really satisfying about the walk cycles of Castlevania. Like, protagonist. Look at this. It's nice. Can't tell Nacha. Forbidden Cha. Mm. There's no wrong reason, it's just fun. Here's some folklore. DD monsters, Skellerangs. Fucking Cthulhu. Cthulhu's in this as well somewhere. I'm not sure he's in this one. I think he is in this one actually. I I'm not sure they're calling Cthulhu in this one, but he is. He is in this. Oh, you, you just poisoned me. Fucking giant snail asshole. Now I do no damage. I can still punch him. They're not very susceptible to the punch. Oh, skeleton farmer! Love this guy! Oh my god, ow. And is that Yorick? I think his name is this one. Kicks his head around. Yes, yeah, Yorick. Nice. Skeleton way too throws curry, yeah. There's a lot of like really memorable fun dudes in this. I don't know if I've got enough uh... I'm not sure I can get to that guy there. Doppelganger, that's a nice one. I have two sets. Getting swizzed on there. Gone full of dickheads. Like Birmingham. <laughs> Fucking birds! Alright, there we go. Right, we can't go any higher at the moment. But we can go over here. Alright, Figgy, good night, dude. Oh, there's a S-stop We're rich. Oh, it's a Fleure, sorry. Like less damage, but faster attacks. Oh shit, almost died there. I love it just drops fried chicken. You just kill him so hard, he just cooks himself. Oh, of course we did. Nice. Bit useless, but... Alright, we'll probably go down and get the boss done, I guess. In that room we didn't touch. Need to go heal first, though. Ugh. Down here? Yeah. 
I wonder if you should go get Mandragora's soul quickly before doing anything else. I can't remember. Is that the one you throw the Mandragora and it... Oh shit, is this not Zero? Oh, it doesn't. Three star rarity souls are bullshit, man. You can get absolutely fucking swizzed and never see one. We'll see if we get lucky and get a magical. I think it's a two star, so we can just walk up and just punch him. It's two, is it? Yeah. Obviously, easier when you can one shot them later, but. How much XP do they give? You don't get XP for ones that explode themselves, which is the biggest scam. Not sure if worth. Gimme. He tosses it out, yeah. Hey! Alright, let's 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 get him. Let's get our boy. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. What a king. Yeah, fuck him. That's such a dumb shout. I wouldn't mess with the Mandragora though. Alright, we go in here. Got this particular snail, man. I forget who this is. Oh, I thought we had a magic sail. My god, I've done it wrong. Alright, well, never mind. I think we may have just trivialized the area. Yeah. I miss him. I love him so much. I, if anything happens to his Mandragora, I'm gonna kill everyone here. That's it. I'm not, that's it. I'm just gonna kill everyone here. In this garden of madness. They make some of these, you only need one copy of them? Oh, really? They make a change to it, though. Get yeah, that Thunderbird, you little asshole. Oh, that's the other side of the book. Oh no! I deny myself snail. Oh, that's so sad when that happens. Oh no, I now poison myself. Terrible. No, that's a tragedy. There's no bigger tragedy of farming a really rare soul and going in and out really fast only to see it pop and then just get stuck. Oh, this music also lives right through in my head. It's it's such a like distinct theme for this as well. It does still power them off, you get more of them, doesn't it? Unless I'm misremembering. These guys are amazing for XP. I recall them being really good, like going in and out of the room. You can just, and if you can kill them really quick. 
with decent. Oh, it's a... My goodness! Hey! Ow! Good gracious, look at that young lady. Ow. <laughs> that one's got a hat on it! The cat, the lady that has a cat with her broom turns into a cat with a hat with another cat. Very fine. Is this Albanex snipers are in here? I forgot what they're called. The dancers have a really good soul as well. Just raises luck. Which is just a flat out good uh, soul to have, I'm pretty sure. There they are. The Albanex snipers. These guys suck. Nice uh, solo. I'm pretty sure increasing your luck just makes you uh, just get a chance of getting more stuff. Yay! Isn't there a save point around here? Am I misremembering? You max out the mini devil turns it turns to anime, does it? That's really funny. The power of Animu on your side. I increase my luck, please bless me. They're not blessing me. Mmm, delicious experience. I used to grind for level in this area, I think. Is there a save? I swear, I swear there was like a save room here. Oh, okay, it's a warp room. Warp room to go to. Bonk. Nice. Not nice. Nice. Alright, I'm kind of curious. I'm going to pause this here. We're going to save it. I'm, I'm assuming, I assume it saves fine, but let's just save it then. Nice. I'm kind of curious how um, Portrait of Ruin actually controls. Like, with the two of them. Because you, cause like, you could control them separately at points and stuff, so I'm interested to see how they've done that. I can't draw a peony anymore. Big sad. Oh wait! Stand corrected. Oh wait, hold on. Just to be, uh, just to be fair. I'm actually going to skip the story here a second. I'm just kind of curious how this controls. No, that's... Uh... I can't swap here at the moment? Is this a scam? Okay. Oh, yeah. Don't we really discover with the whip does nothing for us, right? How do I swap between them and this? Maybe I can't yet. Do you have to get the cube that allows us to swap? Is that it? Yeah, we go. Excellent. And all is right with the world. Oh, didn't they do like a little thing if you hold them up? Yeah, she twirls her hair and then she goes. Well, not that, huh? How do we make how do we make Matey move by himself? Hmm. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's not terrible, terrible. 
It's fine. It's fine. I got no magical powers yet. Oh man, Portrait is such a good game as well. Jonathan, Charlotte! I had a lot of fun with this one. I think a lot of the time Charlotte's like one of the best characters to control. Isn't there a Gribbler in here? She has a tiny cat familiar on her back. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? We have to run away from the goblin. Goblin's a bird. See? Easy busy. Beautiful. Yeah, I was just I was just saying I was kinda of curious how this worked. There you go. Yeah, I was just kinda of curious like how they controlled before mucking around with it too much, but I like Portrait Ruin a lot, yeah. I like it a lot. Did we check out the gallery for Dornosaur? I don't know if we did. Oh spoilers, Jesus. Angry Soma. Evil Soma. Wait, who could this man be? Hmm. Hmm. It's a mystery. I don't know who that man is. Oh, they've got the art from Har this is Harmony Despair, right? They got this is the art they did with um the other stuff. Oh, they look so good, don't they? <gasps> Bat! Bat. Bat. Oh, Yoko looks nice. That's interesting the way they drew the um like the artwork for this. It's cool. Are they I guess it's like extra fan art and stuff they put in this or different art, like promotional art they did? Kinda cool to That's spooky. Kinda cool to see. Wait. What happened here? Yoko forgot to dress this morning. Oh my god, why is Hammer so fucking ripped? God damn. You didn't know Julius had a leopard, sorry, Ulius, had a leopard print jacket, yeah. Guy knows how to dress. That's cool. Age in Konyu? What the fuck? That's illegal. Oh my god, the Japanese manual's even more illegal. Fuck. Okay, not as illegal as the American one. Seriously, you guys got fucking scammed. What is this, like, cheap black and white bullshit? Hmm. Oh, they didn't put the amazing box art in there. You know the one that has, like, it's like the Konami Legacy Collection. And it's, like, in a box, in a box, on the box. It's fucking incredible. It's, like, three boxes in one. Love it. Yeah, so I guess they did the char- they showed off the characters, like, uh, the Harmony of Dissonance. I think- I think- Harmony of Despair, sorry? HD art for all of them. That's nice. Does she never get the treatment? She must do, I suppose. Oh yeah, there she is. That's hers. That's nice. Look at this absolute mad lad. What a pimp. He's not very nice to Shinoa, though, at all. Valo is a hombre. 72 Anos. Shinoa. Shinoa is so pretty. Uh, oh my god, there's an advert for Cast Vintage Judgment on the back? Now that truly is cursed. Fucking hell. Fucking Cast Vintage Judgment. All the boxes were roughly the same, that's interesting. Wait, except the European one, which is completely different. It's interesting the European and American boxes have different screenshots and information on the back. Kinda weird. Wonder why. 
I, I mean, you've seen me play Castlevania Judgment before, haven't you? Where's Laura? There's Laura. I think it's Laura. Goodness. Blessed Laura. She knows art's really nice. I love, like, the concept art for Shinoa. They were going to go really fucking extreme with the tattoos and stuff. That's cool. Actually, do you know what she reminds me of a lot? It's Miriam. Miriam. Lol. Get shot on track. The biggest and best win about this is being able to get- I wonder if we can get these files out of the game, because look how fucking high res the artwork is in this. I genuinely don't think we've ever had the artwork uploaded this high res before. It's fucking amazing. I know we went about it at the start of the stream, but goddamn. Ah. Uh. We need a Shinoa emote. We do, really, don't we? It's also nice to see the intro so clear like this. I wonder if you can see it without all the um, gubbins on the side as well. Reminds you of the main character from Bullet Witch. Oh man, I, used to, I think I own Bullet Witch in the Xbox. This is a really nice intro. It's not quite as like, incredibly in-depth anime-wise as like the, the two anime intros they did. But I really like it, all the same, it's nice. It's possibly because of the music along with it, because An Empty Tome is like one of the best Vania tracks, I think. No sound distortion? Yeah, it's completely clear. Make a little playlist. Wanted Castle Revisited. Hit me. Alright, let's do it. Let's we can do a little bit of this. I don't know what this is gonna be like. 2024? What emulation is this? It's some custom thing, I guess. Wait, what? What the fuck? Wait, Drac, what are you doing, dude? That's not cool. <laughs> oh my god! What an asshole! Is he allowed to do that? <laughs> That's fucking hilarious! What the fuck? No way did Drac just come and steal Simon's girl. What a dickhead. That's fucking amazing. This is the arcade one, right? Lol, the Mal Dracula. <laughs> yeah, he's some none of it. What a turd. Lead. You initially fuck Belmont, XE. Now, is this going to be a Nightmare Bastard coin eater, I wonder? Oh, that's a real great walking animation. Oh, the axe. Axe is for kings. Look at that Chad skeleton. Why is everything so chunky in this? Look at these, look at these fucking skeletons, man. Units. What's the throw in this? Up, I guess. Wait, are they limited in time? No? Okay. Stop up and just does something. Thank you go. Suddenly whip Simon Belmont. Hit the tip, you son of a bitch. Oh god. I'm getting murked. Oh no. I'm getting savaged by tree men. Not very fair, is it?
do, 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 do. Oh, the music's lovely. How's your stream? I've never played Haunted Castle before. It's, I mean, it's, it's very like Castlevania, isn't it? Like Classicvania. Wow, what an arm. That intro is the funniest thing I think I've ever seen, though. Like, I was so not expecting Dracula to rock up and, like, <laughs> eye beam zap Simon's wife. Like, that's not cool, Drac. What the hell, man? That's not, that's not allowed at all. Oh, hey, Medusa. Ooh. Wait, no holy water? Oh god, I'm almost dead. I'm gonna fraud, I'm gonna fraud her out in the cover of attacks. Oh no, I can't. Yeah, I can. I'm very good at this game. Oh no! Wait, no, I'm very good at this game. Okay. Against the storm? What was that? So I assume this was an arcade cabinet? Lullaby of the Devils? Oh, that's a scam. Seems short based on the map. The map reminds me of Ultra Beast. No, not Ultimate, sorry, Golden Axe. Wow, I hate these ghost guys already. Suck. Definitely couldn't be on a Nintendo machine, there's far too many naked lady statues. Wait, what? Oh, we're going down, are we? No? This looks horrendous. A roguelike city builder? Okay, is it good? Did you enjoy it? Ah, no frauding me, fishman. You can get a whip power, but it's temporary, I guess. So far, well, the stream was mostly tutorial. Ah, oh, interesting, interesting. I'll have to like, see if I can tune in and have a look at that. Bad fishman. I wonder what the difference between this and the, 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 the remade one. I wonder what the difference is here. By the way, this entire collection is 20 pounds. Which I think is an absolute steal. Absolute steal of what you're going. Oh. Oh, that. That's mean. Why is Ganon here? The. the oh, can we, like, jump on his head? Oh, upsettingly unnatural. Weirdly, Konami's making weirdly okay decisions again. I know! I'm actually wondering if Konami's gearing back up to get into the, um... He's trying to gear back up into the gaming sphere again. With Metal Gear coming out as well and some other stuff, it really does make me think they're attempting to get back into gaming. Or at the very least, utilize their existing IPs. 
Oh no, that's 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 fraudulent. That was fraudulent. Wow, that's a scam. Man, that's really cool. Let me just uh Oh man. I actually really like the Honda Cows are pretty cool. It looks like they've changed the graphics a little bit, like for sure. That original one looks more like not quite Super Nintendo, but not NES either, like in between somewhere. Whereas this looks like a Super Nintendo. Are you okay there, darling? Are you rolling around on my keyboard? You're licking me, is that alright? Okay, thank you. Appreciate the licks. Yes, yes, you fussy. You fussy. Yes. Alright, I'm gonna park it there, probably, I think, for today. Um. Where are we gonna put this? We'll see if we can raid someone as well to carry on. The original's apparently hard as balls. It was probably a coin eater from an arcade, right? Which makes sense. I hate how I can't see who's online. Unless I got back to Twitch on here. Oh look. Who can we raid? How do I think this game will play out? Can Why does it autoplay on the Switch home page now? Also, cuz. Community Night and Monsanto. Ah, oh, let's upgrade Ollie then. He's doing Community Night with Monsanto. Let's do that. So thank you ever so much, everyone, for being on this nostalgia trip with me. It was very, very nice. Quietly vice the music, yeah. Castlevania music is so good, isn't it? Oh, hey, I'm on. Sorry, I didn't say hello to you. I must have missed you when you popped in. You're alright, dude. I hope you've been alright. Thank you ever so much, everyone, for being here. I hope you've had a lovely stream. Let's go say hello to Ollie, and I'm gonna go feed these menaces, so. Good night, everyone. Thank you for being here, and I will catch you tomorrow. Take care. Oh, sorry. Whack the microphone. Take care, all. Bye.